this out. Hayunka actually reached out to me to see if I would do a review on this 10 inch 2 ohm subwoofer. I recently did one on their component speakers. So if you want to check that video out, go ahead. These are Amazon speakers. So you know they're probably pretty good. So I'm not sponsored by Hayunka, but they did send me the subwoofer. So I've had, I've had 10 inch subwoofers before and I felt like this looks a little big. So just looking at it with the tape measure. So on the top of the speaker, you could see it's actually 11 inches. If you were to measure the actual speaker is probably 10 inches. So from the base, you're probably looking at about six and a half inches tall. And you can see the back. You have the connections there and there. I'm excited to try it out. Let's make some noise. To install the sub, I did need to make a box for it. Now you can buy a box and figure out the dimensions. There's many different websites to figure out the exact measurements you need for different size subs. The box that I made was a vented box or a ported. There's an opening for airflow. It is not completely sealed. I just felt like it is safer to do it that way versus a completely sealed box. Um, whether this sub could handle a sealed box, I don't really know. I'm wiring this in as a 4 ohm because my amp only goes down to 2 ohm. And even though this is a 2 ohm sub, it is a dual coil. So I have to wire it this way. If I got another sub, then I'd be able to do um, 2 ohms. But for right now, um, with the one sub, I'm going to wire it in as 4 ohms. Just checking with my meter, double checking. And I can see that it's 4.4, 4.2 ohms. So that's good. I'm gonna do the best I can to try to show you a before and after or show you what the sub sounds like with it on or off. All right, so this is a little before and after. I hope you can hear the difference. I definitely feel the difference with the sub. You can actually physically feel it in your chest a little bit, which is exactly what I was looking for. I like it. I don't have anything negative to say about the sub. Um, I think it works great. It's exactly what I needed. Uh, pay attention to your amp and figure out which one you want to buy. You can get the 2 ohm or the 4 ohm, depending how you're going to wire it and how powerful your amp is. 
If you're interested, there will be a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Make sure you sub.